Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing an acrylic pour on a vase through a leaky cup. Now, the leaky cup has eight holes, so I actually got the idea to pour a different color into each hole, which wasn't that easy because I'm pretty short, um, and I wanted to go very rainbow with this. So the colors that I'm using, and these are all Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. I started off with white, then some Razzle Dazzle, some Primary Red, some pumpkin orange shimmer, which is a limited edition color, some primary yellow, emerald green, and then powder blue steel, which is also a limited edition color, primary blue, and then the royal purple. And these you can all find on mixedmediagirl.com, uh, except for those limited edition colors, they might be sold out. Those, were, those are in the uh, mystery paint boxes. So I poured... Um, pretty slowly and I pour each color again individually into a hole and then I did white another layer of white and then poured the colors one more time and I thought it looked awesome so I stopped on the vase at this point now the canvas didn't have nearly enough paint and this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas so I added just a little bit of each of those individual colors on the outside of the paint and spread it out a bit to help the paint flow and as you can see here, I did put the canvas up on my cake spinner and uh, I did attach it with some double-sided sticky tape, which I just put directly on the cake spinner and then I set the canvas on there. Now, because I had so little paint compared to what I normally have, I did have to spin it quite a bit and had to tilt it a couple of times. Um, but, you know, just a little bit of patience and it worked out beautifully. And a few times I stopped it and helped it along the way uh, by just spreading out that paint on the edge. So you can spin it as much as you want. You can always add more paint along the edge and you can also pour more paint down the vase in the first place. That's another option as well. But this is what I went with with this project. And again, it just took a little patience, but in the end, totally worth it, looked awesome. So I spun that out until I was happy with it. Then let the vase and the canvas dry fully. Now, um, before I seal my vases, I typically let them dry at least a week. Um, it depends on if it's cold, humid, hot, etc. I live in Los Angeles where it's pretty hot and dry, so a week is plenty of time. Um, the canvas I will usually let dry a little bit longer, but it also depends on how much paint is on there. And on this canvas, there's not a lot of paint. So once my vase dried, I put it on my cup turner. You can get these on Amazon. And then I sealed it with some Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And it takes just about uh, maybe an ounce or two to seal it. It's not a lot. And you can see it really makes those colors pop and shine. And it will protect it very well so that you can use it like a normal vase. You can, you know, wash it, put water in it, no problem. So uh, I like to seal my vases with resin. Once I put the resin on, I use a torch to get rid of any excess air bubbles. And then I leave it on there for over 24 hours to dry. So here's the vase complete, gorgeous, really bright. The colors are just beautiful. Um, and there you go. And then the canvas, I actually have not sealed yet in this video. And that I will typically seal with Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray, but you can also seal it with resin or really any other kind of varnish or sealer that you would like. But here is the canvas. I love the design on here from the vase. It's so pretty and I love the colors. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.